If you've been asked for the slope of a tangent with implicit differentiation and they gave you a point on the curve to find the slope of that tangent at, congratulations, you have an easy question. All you'll have to do is implicitly differentiate the function you're given, then plug in 2 for x in my case, 1 for y, you know, the values you were given, and then you can solve for y prime directly, like grade 9 again. Let's implicitly differentiate this together first, though. This is x squared times y squared. That's going to require the product rule. Product rule is derivative of the first thing, x squared, times the second thing as is, plus the first thing as is, that's x squared, times the derivative of the second thing. Now, y squared, you might just think it's 2y, but you've used the power rule, and what's inside the function here is not just x. So there's a chain rule portion to that where it's times an extra whatever the derivative of y is. You can call it y prime, or you can call it dy by dx. Player's choice. This in purple is the derivative of that. I have to take the derivative of this as well. That's also a product rule. Well, that's annoying. I'm going to treat my first thing as plus 5x. So what have we got? We've got uh, derivative of the first thing times second thing plus first thing as is times derivative of the second thing. The derivative of y is just straight up y prime. Great. And lastly, we have this equals 14. The derivative of 14 is 0. You have now implicitly differentiated the function. Some teachers will ask you to solve for y prime in this. Your job would be to put all the terms with y prime on one side of the equal sign, all the terms without it on the other side. Then you'll factor y prime out, and you'll be able to solve for it. Here, though, if you're given a point 2, comma 1, you can replace all the x's with 2's and all the y's with 1's. You don't even have to clean this up first, although cleaning it up first is like the professional way to do it. So I've got 2 times x, which is 2, times y squared plus x squared times 2y. We don't know what y prime is, though. That, by definition, is the slope of the tangent at whatever point we're plugging in. Plus 5 times y plus 5 times x times an extra y prime. The only variable left here is y prime. So you can solve this. Again, that's like grade 9 skills here in Ontario. 2 times 2 times 1 squared is 4. 2 squared times 2 is 8. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Now I've got 18 y primes on the left here. 4 and 5 make 9. I'm going to move that to the other side. And then I can divide both sides by 18. y prime apparently is negative a half. y prime by definition is the slope of the tangent at that point. And so you are done. The meat and bones of this question was the implicit differentiation. The extra two marks or so was the plugging in of these values into the implicitly differentiated equation and then solving for the slope of the tangent at that point. Congratulations, you're now an absolute monster at math. Best of luck.